New Orleans has always been a socially diverse city, and um, there was always a lot of social activity that was going on in the early part of the 19th century. There were military bands here. There was French bands that performed for parades. These funerals had music, but it's music didn't become significant for a funeral until the 19th century, late 19th century, when blacks had been freed through the Emancipation Proclamation, and now they had to fend for themselves, and it's brought about the development of organizations that we get called um, benevolent society organizations. A lot of blacks didn't have insurance, so they became members of these organizations to assist and aid them with any needs they may have needed to be met. As far as medicine and um, funeral uh, processions, the member became deceased. They would take their dues and pay for their funeral causes, whatever they needed assistance in. There were many blacks who became part of these organizations. There was the Young Men Olympia Associating Pleasure Club. Um, there were a lot of benevolent societies that was uh, organized by churches. Um, there was uh, the Jolly Boys. It was a Zulu Associating Pleasure Club. I myself is a member of the um, Young Men Olympia organization, which I have on my membership book, which I pay my dues with. And you pay your monthly dues. You have an option to um, take the money to pay for the burial causes or pay for a band. In some cases, you pay for the band and the um, funeral costs, expenses. Some people were members of more than just one benevolent organization. So when that individual died, you know, they would have a jazz funeral and you might have as many as three or four jazz bands performing for that individual because that individual belonged to uh, three or four organizations. And that funeral look, would look like it was a, a funeral for a, a head of state or a president. All members wear these badges. If there's a jazz funeral, you wear it on the black side and after the body is deposited in the ground, you flip it over to the ribbon to the colorful side, whichever is the color of the organization. This is my um, ribbon of the Young Men Olympia organization. The organization has been around since the late 1800s. I think it was established in 1884. This is um, a ribbon that belonged to my grandmother. She was a member of the ladies Tulane. Social and Pleasure Club, and it says aid and pleasure. So I used to pay her books. As a teenager, I would go and pay her dues. This is the black side, and this is the colorful side, green. Why are there jazz funerals? Is it for to celebrate the person's life or uh, uh, for the mourning of the individual's passing? Well, I would say it's for both. Some individuals who belong to some of these organizations, they as some of them common laborers, you know, um, uh, they could be members of the community. And when they have passed on, they're celebrated with a jazz funeral. It gave them a chance to just show off and have a good time. Sometimes, you know, um, during segregation, people didn't have much to uh, celebrate about, and they would love to hit the streets because they were able to express themselves freely by um, dancing on the street and giving this individual they just do to honor him at the same time. 